A group of frogs were traveling through the forest when two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs saw how deep the pit was, they told the two frogs that there's no hope left for them. However, the two frogs ignore their comrades and proceed to try to jump out of the pit. Despite their efforts, the group of frogs at the top of the pit were still saying that they should just give up as they would never make it out. Eventually, one of the frogs took heel of all the others what were saying and he gave up, jumping even deeper to his death. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Once again, the group of frogs yelled at him to stop the pain and just die. He ignored them and jumped even harder and harder and finally he made it out. When he got out, the other frog said to him, Did you not hear us? The frog explained to them that he was deaf and that he thought that they were encouraging him the entire time. What is the moral of the story? The moral of the story Tune out the haters. Yes, you heard me. Everyone has haters. Even to those who do not really deserve it, understand why haters hate. Insecurities. You have something that they do not have. Know that you are on the right track. If not, they will not even bother to hate you. Maybe they simply don't agree with your values. But not agreeing to someone's values does not mean that one is better than another. It does not mean that you can go out there and hurt people. Seeing the ways in which people negatively treat you teaches you how to be more accepting of others. Now, why do haters join the haters? Many feel that they need a need of belonging. It feels like they are part of a group or to be accepted. The easiest way to be part of a group or to be accepted is to have a common connection by putting people down and see who will agree to it. Sharing hatred towards someone is also a way for some people to strengthen their existing relationship by defending against someone. Maybe you have some personal insults that attack your beliefs or character, try not to take it personally. I know, it is easier said than done. But if you understand what is motivating their insults, turn it into a motivating factor. Haters reminds you of your sweet victories. Accomplishing something that many think that you cannot be is a great feeling. Be grateful for all the good you are fortunate to have. Ignore. Be brave. Focus on your dreams. When your haters spend time on causing damages to you, you are spending more time on realizing your dreams. When they are lying about you behind your back, you have already moved another step towards your dream. The moon still shines brightly, even when the wolves howl at it. Go on, be that shining moon.